Welcome to my house, Erol. How are you doing? Hope you are fine. Thanks, I am fine, Erol. How is your YouTube channel? Oh, I am very happy with my channel. It is growing. I am so surprised. How oh, about my, yours? My YouTube channel is not growing. Maybe I need to create more interesting content. Oh, I see, I see. Let's help each other for this. Yeah, sure. Okay, let's work together. Interesting, right? Let me show you how we can create videos like that. In order to do videos like that, we will take two different videos. One video will be when I am uh, on the right side and the other video will be when I am on the left side. And then we will combine these videos together. But the most important thing when we are taking videos like that, the camera must be on tripod. The lighting conditions must not change. I mean exposure settings will be all the same for all the videos. And then the video will look like it is real. Otherwise, if the settings in one video is different than the others, you will have problems when you are post-processing the video. The video will not look like real. And now let's jump into Adobe Premiere and let me show you how I will do it. I open the Adobe Premiere now and let's create a new project. Project name is testing. And then my file location is here. And then click OK button. So this is our timeline and here will be the project files. I will import our video files here by clicking right click and then import. Left side and right side videos. And then I will drag and drop each video to the timeline. Just like that. And next, I will drag up the right side video on top of the left side video. I will do the same thing for sound file as well. I will move the sound file of the right side video at the bottom of the left side video sound file. Meanwhile, I forgot to mention one important factor, which is the fact that when we are taking the videos and when we are talking, we must pause accordingly after each sentence or questions for a perfect synchronization. Now what I will do is I will create a layer mask on top of the video file. In order to create a layer mask, effect controls must be active or chosen. And then I will come to opacity. Here we will create a four point polygon mask. We just need to click on this button once and then the mask will be created automatically as you see on the program panel and the video content of the bottom layer will be seen inside the mask. And then I will adjust the size of the mask by expanding it from the corner points. And so as you see, the half of the right side video is seen together with the other half of the left side video. Next, in order to make a smooth or soft transition from left side to right side video, I will increase the size of the feather mask to 100 or I will just check, or maybe 200. Let me expand the size of the mask a little more. And then let me play the final video. And now as you see, it looks like that I am talking to myself, or I am talking with my twin brother. Thanks, I am fine at all. How is your YouTube channel? Oh, I am very happy with my channel. It is growing. In fact, as you see, this is an easy technique to do. We are just creating a mask over the top video layer and adjusting its size. And finally, we just need to export our video. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And please don't forget to like my video. When you subscribe, you will help me and you will encourage me to do more videos in future. Until we see you in my next video, please take good care of yourself.